Hello guys, I'm Frank David C. Pantalian. I'm six years old. Today we're gonna learn about is science means, but who is gonna kill this? Okay, if there's a disgusting, I will show you to it. Like this, eyes. Okay, your active sense organs. The eyes. The eyes are the organs of sight that help us see things around us. Whoa! Common diseases of the eyes. Sore eyes. Sore eyes is this, the redness and swelling of covering the inside of the eyelids and whites of the eyes. This disease causes itching and tearing of the eyes. Sore eyes can spread easily. Because why? When there's a spot like here that go, grows on the eyes, there will be hundreds of them. Okay, sty quality. It is a painful swelling on the marking of the eyes. It forms a lump that has a whitish or yellowish spot. If you, how do I sty goes on here? Because if when actually like it's gonna be like this the eye is gonna hurt if you do this if you watch too much tablet it will actually form a lump like this so that's why you need to protect your eyes okay protect for the eyes or care for the eyes the following are some ways to care for your eyes. Eat food best for the eyes. Some examples of this food. Food are eggs, carrots, sweet potatoes, and green leafy vegetables like spin, spinach and kale. Okay. Add to later. I will I actually... Okay. When I'm done homework, I will be making, I will teach you how to make chicken lava toast, okay? Number two, do not rub your eyes. If they feel itchy, wipe your eyes with a clean towel or handkerchief. Number three, make sure that you are not too close to the screen when you watch TV or use the computer or cell phone. You should also avoid reading in a moving car Hello. or in the dark. Number five, rest your eyes from time to time. You can do this by looking at far and green objects. You can also rest by closing your eyes. Reset an eye doctor or especially specialist or specially special visit an eye doctor or special there's regularly to some avoid disease or some disease of the eyes the ears our ears help us hear the sounds around us they are very important when you are studying or talking to others common diseases of the ears one of the common diseases of the ears is ear infection it causes painful and difficulty in hearing like if but i have a good news or you have or when something is stuck into your ear canal, the doctor will get it out. Because they are very smart. Doctors are very smart. But I'm a doctor. <laughs> care for the ears. The following are some ways to care for your ears. Protect your ears from the lo loud blowing of horns shouting and other loud noises avoid listening to the radio and watching tv on to the radio and watching tv on full volume okay the tune the radio to low volume when my mother says 
And it's too low, so that's why you're gonna lower it. Okay. Another. Do not, number two, do not use or put any pointed or sharp objects such as a hairpin, matchstick, and pencil in your ear. Cotton buds can be used to clean only the outer part of your ear. Tell your parents if you feel any ear pain. The nose. Our nose is the sense organ oh, for, the, for smell. It also helps us to breathe. We breathe in and out through our nose. We're gonna breathe in and out for like a trachea and goes to our lungs and the diaphragm is gonna go down and then the air is gonna go out. Okay. Common diseases of the nose. Allergies and common colds. These two conditions may cause by problems by producing too much mucus. They can this lead, can lead to sinus sinus or sinus sinus infection if not treated immediately. If you had a coronavirus in your lungs it will be damaged so that causes difficulty in breathing a child with a common cold that's a very disgusting view nose bleeding nose bleeding is when blood comes out of the nose taking the inside of the nose can cause it to bleed sudden changes in temperatures can also nose bleeding don't worry if you don't if you had a nosebleed the body will fix itself you know that <clears throat> care for the nose the following are some ways to care for your nose cover your nose from dust strong smells and smoke from cigarettes and cars too when sneezing or coughing use a clean cloth or handkerchief to cover your nose and mouth Avoid using your hands to cover your nose and mouth as you might transfer the germs to your hands. Okay, the tongue. The tongue is the organ of the taste or, or of taste. It helps us to taste the food we eat. It also helps us in chewing food and speaking. And why do I sweat? Because of sweat glands. Because it's gonna go up and I sweat. See? This is my sweat. <laughs> it's, it, it tastes terrible because they have salt. <laughs> care for the tongue. The following are some ways to care for your tongue. Eating the right food keeps the tongue healthy. When the tongue is burdened by drinking very hot soup, Sip ice cold or suck an, on an ice cube. See a doctor if there is much pain or if the pain is not reduced. Number three, cleaning your tongue with your toothbrush or tongue cleaner is also recommended. The skin. The skin is considered to be the largest organ of the body. It protects and covers our whole body. Our skin allows us to feel the heat and cold. Common diseases of the skin. Pediculosis. It is the diseases, disease or diseases. It is the disease of the scalp or the skinhead where hair grows it caused by tiny insects head lice they live on scalp and suck blood for nourishment common they are common among children they can pass through sharing personal things like combs hair ties and headbands yeah i don't I don't know what headbands, okay, scabies.
Scabies is and disgusting. It's caused by tiny by a tiny mite that enters the skin. It causes strong itching. Scabies can be passed through touching and sometimes through with sharing personal things like towels and clothes. Uh, it's very disgusting. Care for the skin. The following are some ways to care for your skin. Eat fruits and daily vegetables. You know, I like fruits. <laughs> Two. Apply skin produces like lotion to avoid dry skin. Like playing inside the house. You know, I always like playing inside. Okay. Where is it? Here. Remember or make this. Jesus, why is this dirty? <laughs> make two riddles about sense organs of your choice and how to care for them. Share the riddles with a seatmate or partner. Let your classmates answer the riddles. Remember, the human body is made up of three main body parts, the, the head, the trunk, and the limbs. The head is made up of eyes, nose, mouth, ears, skull, and hair. The trunk or torso is made up of the chest, abdomen, navel, and back. The upper limbs are made of up of the arms, elbows, wrists, and hands. The lower limbs are made up of the thighs, knees, legs, ankles, and feet. The sense organs are the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. Okay. Body parts that work together. What? Body parts work together to do an activity. Try this. Play with a jump rope. Walk briskly around the school grounds near your classroom for a few minutes. And observe which body parts you used in each chapter. Bye. See you guys later.